Hey everybody, Sexy here. How are y'all doing? Um, I got some new paint today. Yay. We always love getting new paint, don't we? So exciting. Um, these are Arteza um, iridescent colors. There's 10 of them. See, there's the box. And um, I'm trying three of them in this uh, flip cup here that I got mixed up. So, I'll tell you which ones they are when I remember. Um, yeah, I'm using three. There's a green, the sort of a kind of a lime green, um, and then I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. I've got. Uh, let's see, this color here, Shocking Lime, and Electric Plum, and Fairy Tale Blue are in this one, along with uh, some Thalo Blue, some Prussian Blue, some Artist Loft Purple, some Color Shift Aqua. And I think that's it. Let's see what we got. And this time I strained my flow trawl. I got me some more um, lacy stuff to strain with because um, I had lost my, I accidentally threw away the thing I had been using to strain it. And, oh my gosh, I was having problems. Big time clumps of stuff just appearing out of nowhere, everywhere. It was terrible. I kept picking them out. In the last couple of videos, I'm picking that gunk out ever all through. So, I, I, did, I wasn't sure where the gunk was coming from, but I knew I had lost my filter for my flow trawl, so that was a pretty good guess that that's where it was coming from. This is really pretty. I like these colors. I like that pink with it. Um, that's the, actually, that pinky color is the electric plum, the new Arteza elect, electric plum. It looks purple, um, but when you get it on the canvas, it's really more pinky, kind of. And um, I like the way that looks. The um, not the water. I get that corner better. Uh, and I gotta get that corner a little better too. Uh, Let's see if we can. I'm gonna swirl this to my swirling technique for a minute on it because I don't like what's going on. The middle part looks boring to me, so this is my swirl technique and it helps. If you've got a middle part that is boring, you can do that and it'll switch it around, move it around some. Sometimes it just moves the boring part from the middle to another part. But, sometimes it helps. I think that's pretty. It's uh, not just real exciting, but it's pretty. Um, I kind of like it, just like it is. Uh, Alright, we're going to torch it again. I also got some more 24 karat gold deco art because I had run out of that. And I was able to get it at Hobby Lobby for a while, but now uh, you really can't. They're out of it. And uh, then, uh, so I had to order it. And uh, also, I ordered some uh, deco art vintage brass and then I think I realized that I think I already have a tub full of it over there but 
I wasn't sure, so anyway, I ordered it. <laughs> I like that purple. Um, I mean, I like the way all these colors look together. I think they're really pretty. It didn't sell. They don't sell a whole lot. Um, you know, I'm not seeing a whole lot of sale activity, but uh, it's pretty. You know, uh, it's not completely devoid of sales, and it's pretty. Um, said Prussian blue. It's got Prussian blue in it. I love Prussian blue. Uh, I would put Prussian blue in everything if I could get away with it. Uh, got a little problem going on down here. And I don't really like how that fixed it. So I gotta, gotta do this. That sometimes happens when you don't put down a base coat and I don't. Um, Every now and then, it will do that, and um, you just have to put some more paint um, on top of it when it does that, and usually that will fix it just fine. This one is doing it more than it usually does. I got several spots here that I'm gonna have to patch up. Normally, that does not happen. In fact, I normally have no side effects from not using a base coat. Um, I don't know why on this one it decided to give me problems. Um, but like I said, it doesn't normally do that. I get by just fine. And if it does, you can usually just dab a little on like that. Um, I may have to get some paint and um, of those colors and go back and dab it on if it does it some more while it's drying. Some canvases just don't want to accept paint for some reason. They seem to resist it and, um, you know, it just happens. But um, usually I don't have any problems, so I don't know why this one is giving me a hard time. But I'll just watch it while it dries and um, and if I have to, I'll add some more paint. Um, you know, it, it's still worth it to me to do it that way. It saves so much paint, you know, and I think about, See that right there? That's bad. But it does save a whole lot of paint not using a base coat. Um, it, it saves a lot of money. And I don't know about y'all, but the more money I can save, the more money I can spend on paint. And that's the way I look at it. So if I can, you know, cut a corner and not have it affect my work, I'm going to do it. And... This usually does not affect my work. Um, every now and then I'll have an issue, but very rarely. So, uh, let's see. I just have some glass I need to be doing, and I keep putting it off and painting instead. And oh, it's bad. It's a bad habit. And I'm going to have to go and get on it. I mean, it's not like for a client or anything. It's not like really pressing, but um, it's some stuff I want to finish. That's really pretty up in there. I like that. And that, it's really pretty. It's some stuff I want to finish. I just, sometimes I have a hard time getting into paint and doing glass because painting is so much more instant gratification. You know, I just really enjoy it. Thank y'all for joining me, and I appreciate you supporting my channel. I get new subscribers all the time, and I love it. You guys are just great. Um, thanks for being here. Y'all have a, rest, a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.